if we want to go even lower budget though, we could just uh, take some horses and make some humps to put on top of the, ho the horses. Because you know that when they're on camera, horses with humps on them look more like camels than camels do on camera. They really do. They, you remember, you remember the, the movie with um, what's his face where they were out in the Sahara Desert? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, they those they weren't riding camels. Those were horses. Awesome. They they had the they had this the bunch of cloth on top of the horses back, and they made them look like camels. So that's what we can do. We can get we can go to a horse ranch and get them out on a sandy lot and just okay. But but that's 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 a little. It's a little past what we're, we're getting what we're ahead of ourselves. Ourselves. We're getting a little ahead of ourselves here. So it, so it's Monday. We're we're trying to figure out where we're sit, sitting on the bus. So she's sitting on the very front, neck behind the driver. Is she going to be sitting in the back? Is she going to be sitting in the middle? And it's wherever she sits, she's going to get an aisle seat or a window seat. That gives so many possibilities. There could be there could be three verses in this song. One for the front, one for the back, one for the middle. And then a subtext in all of those of aisle seat or window seat. Kind of in the bridge. And left to left side or right side. You know, though, I think when she first gets on the bus, it might be a really good idea. You know, she sits down in the bus driver's lap and, you know, he gets a little smile on his face and, you know, she just gives him a little slap in the face just to say, you know, you can't have this. I'm going back to the back of the bus or wherever I'm going to decide to sit. Okay, now. We're making this song upbeat, is this correct? This is going to be an upbeat song. Yes, yes. Okay. With sad overtones. Yes, right. knowing how sad and depressing it is to go back to school on Mondays. What about while she's standing on the corner waiting for the bus, right when she's starting to sing this song, she pops out her Pez dispenser and lo and behold, you, she's got Adderall in there. You know, it, it, it lifts you up. That's, that's a good idea, but we we don't want to promote drug use in teens. Um, any more than we already and do. Any more than we already do because of the, well, you know, there's Ritalin and everything like that, and those, but those are legal prescription drugs, and we don't want to, we don't want to encourage our kids. Could be a public kids. relations nightmare. We, we, don't want our, we don't want our kids to that are watching this to actually get involved in taking those recreational drugs like even though we do it all the time I have a solution no drugs no dose and it's product placement we could actually get some sponsors from the no dose corporation I'll have to I'll have to look into that could help us not take losses right and on top of that, it's encouraging kids that have just been out partying all weekend with their friends to, you know, it, it gives them a little, a bit of an energy boost to, to, to get through the week. So, that sounds good. That sounds good. We're making some progress here. Um, so, it's Monday. She's riding the bus. She doesn't want to go to school. She's trying to figure out where she wants to sit. Now we get to the school. This will be part two of the song, the last, the last bit of the song, where she gets to the school and she's trying to figure out where she wants to sit in the classroom. And there's a lot of possibilities there, but we can talk about this more in depth once we get to that stage of the music. I think I have a great idea for how to get the song out there, how to release the song. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Three words. Ellen DeGeneres Show.